Welcome. Welcome to this gathering. This behind me is our, a group of elected officials from Dallas County and also some candidates who are running on the ballot. My name is Carol Donovan. I am your Dallas County Democratic Party Chair. I'm very proud to be here because we are a part of history right now. The early voting numbers are larger than they have ever been, not just in Dallas County, but in the entire state of Texas. And since the last presidential election in 2012, we have registered over 100,000 voters. So let me introduce to you our hostess today who has worked with Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. I'm pulling this together. And that is Audrey Moorhead, who is president of the Dallas chapter of the Texas Coalition of Black Democrats. All right. It's a great day to get out the vote, am I right? Yes! yes. We are so excited to be here today and we really want to encourage everyone to come out and vote today because people are asking me all the time, they're saying, why are people coming out to vote? Why are people registering in such great numbers? Well, one of the reasons that they're doing that is because we're not making a difference in terms of just the president. We're making a difference in terms of policies. We're talking about closing the pay gap. We're talking about protecting women's rights. We're talking about making affordable, the, the Affordable Care Act more appealing and not repealed. We're talking about doing those types of things in this community. We also, we also know that we're not just voting for the top of the ballot, we're voting down the ballot. We're voting for people who are going to be making a difference in your life today, who make a difference in the way justice is taken care of in our courts. We're voting for commissioners. We're voting for, we're voting for court of appeals. We're voting for state representatives. We're also voting for judges and we're voting for congresswomen and men. But at this time, I want to invite a congresswoman who is elected nationally. She thinks globally. She acts and loves locally. And I want to ask the Honorable Congresswoman, Eddie Bernice Johnson, to come bring some remarks to you today. Get out there and vote. Thank you. Yay! Let me say thank you to all the people who are here. We have worked very hard, not only to turn this county blue, but to keep this county blue. And this year, we're going to be a major part in making sure that Hillary Clinton at least carries Dallas County. Yes. But we hope she'll carry the entire state. We want her to be our next president. These Texans know her. They know Bill Clinton. We know who we're for. We know why we're for them. And we're asking everyone to come out to vote. We know what we feel to be the best leadership for this country. And we've made that choice. We're here working today. We will continue working. And we'll be asking everyone that we can get to, whether they are wearing a Republican button or not, we're asking them to vote our way because we know that our way is the right way. So we want everyone to vote the straight Democratic ticket that Hillary Clinton heads up. We want Hillary Clinton to be the next president and we're gonna do our part. Bravo! I'm next, all right. I'm Brandon Birmingham. I'm one of your elected judges. Uh, I'm not on the ballot this year, but I'm proud uh, to be a part of this group of very, very fine people who have your best interests in mind. There's a lot of good folks on the ballot straight all the way down the Democratic ticket. And I would encourage you, this has been a record turnout. Be on the right side of history. So get out there and vote. Do your thing. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi, my name is Tina U. Clinton, and I have the pleasure of being one of the criminal judges here in Dallas County. One of the things that we know about the state of Texas is this. We're actually not a red state. We're a non-voting state. If we actually got out all the votes that there were, we would be a blue state. This is our opportunity to show not only what we can do, but to change the course of this nation. Because if Texas turned blue, that would say amazing things about what our leadership could do in Washington. So take this opportunity to go to the polls 
and let's vote blue. Hi, I'm Dominique Collins. I am the judge of Criminal District Court Number 4, as well as your Dallas County Veterans Court. I am very, very pleased to be out here with these distinguished folk. Happy to be here. I'm here to encourage you to vote early. Vote early. Your ballot is bloodstained. Folks have lost their lives and given up their lives just so you have the opportunity to vote. Don't waste it. Don't give it back. It's a gift God gave you, as well as the folks who fought for it. Don't give it back. My name is Roberto Alonso, State Representative here for Dallas, and I want to thank the Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson for putting this event together, as well as the Black Coalition of Democrats, because in order for us to win, we must continue asking people to come out to vote. We want them to vote straight ticket, vote Democrat. We're the ones that are making the right decision. We're going to make history. Thank you very much, and thank you, Woman Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. My name is Hector Garza. I'm the candidate for the 195th Judicial District Court here in Dallas County. I'm asking you for your support. I'm actually honored to be here with all these distinguished uh, individuals uh, of our party. So I'm going to ask you to come out, support us, uh, the Democratic Party, come out and vote. Uh, your vote is uh, greatly appreciated and needed. Let's turn Texas blue. All right, so let's go. Thank you. And I'm running for state representative for House District 113. I'm feeling very strong. I'm proud to be on the ballot with Hillary at the top of the ticket. I know we're going to take it. We're going to continue to do what we're doing. Come on out and make sure your vote is counted early. We've got one more week and it's election day. Let's do it. Let's turn Texas blue. Thank you. Thank you. All right.